Good day mates and matets and welcome back to Fisher Fryceberg's tutorials. Uh, today I am going to be presenting to you a system which leads on from my earlier lumber mill tutorial. So look at that one. Uh, and what we have here today is an automated charcoal and creosote oil production system. It's rather simple so I'll just get on with that. Uh, the system I'm talking about is this one over here. What it has is it has the Railcraft Coke ovens uh, in two rows here and here. And what they do is they turn oak logs into charcoal. Uh, it takes two logs to make one piece of charcoal and 250 creosote oil. Uh, the wood comes from the lumber mill which you were shown in an earlier episode, uh, and is sent through this tesseract here. Uh, it makes use of the cargo distributor, which you attach to either the top or the bottom of your cargo manager, and then align the sides. For instance, I am using the green output side to look at all input faces. I'm then using an emerald transport pipe to filter out oak wood. Emerald transport pipes work the same as diamond transport pipes, except they are also like wooden transport pipes they remove from chests. Now if we look over here, we can see that after it is sent out of the tesseract, it is sent down and split along the two lines of coke ovens. Uh, it's frequently sped up just to keep the system going and as you can see it fills up all of the ovens rather nicely. After it reaches the end of the line it is diverted back up and around through another pipe at which point it either enters a chest, a void pipe or it is sent back into the system. Uh, in your own system, I would not recommend having the void pipe. This was just to remove some uh, excessive wood from the early stages of this system. Uh, the bricks are purely for looks, but if we look underneath, you can see that there is a wooden transport pipe removing from the center block of the bottom. What this does is this is where the charcoal is pulled out from. It is taken along the line and is then fed into Stirling engines. This is not, I repeat, not a good power source because you do not produce uh, charcoal fast enough. Uh, it's just to show you what you could do. Uh, obviously, if you had like 20 coke ovens and like three lumber mills or something, it is possible that you could do the math and make a sustainable for form of power out of this, but I do not recommend it. However, producing charcoal is the secondary objective, as creosote oil is the much more valuable commodity. Creosote oil is required by most railcraft uh, rail recipes uh, to produce um, the wooden crossbars for your tracks. On top of that, it can be used to replace seed oil in many uh, forestry recipes, including the impregnated casing for the beehives. Apiaries, that's the word. And yeah, that's it. It's a rather simple system. It just uses basic transport pipes, gold for speed, uh, iron for direction, and, you know, stone to fill in the spaces. Uh, and other than that, yeah, it's just something that I thought was pretty cool. Alright. I hope you are... Uh, make use of this because I found it very useful within my own survival games. Alright, 
I'll see you later, mates.